Truck World TV, sponsored by Auto Trader Trucks. Hello and welcome to our brand new series of Truck World TV and I must say Rob and I are both delighted to be here at our home from home at Junction 38 truck stop here on the M6. Yeah, we loved it last time they let us in and, and they let us back bizarrely so we thought why not. But over the next six weeks myself and Tim are going to be bringing you all the latest news, reviews and general cool stuff from the world of commercial vehicles. But probably the best way to whet your appetite is to say in motoring journalist parlance, take a look at this. But of course, Volvo's got some unsung heroes in amongst the range, and we're going to be testing one of them. Tony, I was expecting to find you in a wheelchair or some sort of traction device driving this around. Looks epic. We certainly do have a cracking six weeks ahead of us and to start us off here's what's coming up this week. We've got highlights from the 2015 CV show at the NEC, there's Tim's road test of the latest tractor unit from MAN and a firm favourite from series one, we'll be chatting to some other drivers here at Junction 38 to get their views on matters that affect them and the industry. Now throughout the series you will pick up on a theme that generally if the weather's terrible I'm outside doing those bits and pieces. If it's a nice hot sunny day, well, Tim gets to do those. And true to form, earlier in the year, Tim and the team went down to Silverstone for their fantastic truck festival. But as you'll see in a minute, it wasn't just static truck displays that were on offer. Silverstone and sunshine are two words that will guarantee a good weekend, but add fairgrounds, ice cream, and displays of some of the most stunning trucks in the UK, together with trade stands from the major manufacturers, and you have all the ingredients for the perfect weekend. As you can see all around us, this is definitely hardcore trucking, but as you might be able to hear in the background, we're not just here to look at the statics, we're here to see some racing. It's been more than 25 years since trucks have raced around the Silverstone circuit, but for this weekend, they were back with a vengeance as the circuit hosted a leg of the British Truck Racing Association Championship. With around 1,200 horsepower and huge amounts of torque, these five and a half ton monsters make other forms of motorsport seem like child's play. And 10 times British Truck Racing Champion Stuart Oliver is one of the quickest drivers around. OK, well, if you're into truck racing, you've certainly heard of Stuart Oliver, one of the best truck drivers there are in the UK. But one thing you might not know is actually how Stuart got started. So, come on, Stuart, how did you get into truck racing? Well, it was, it's, it's, uh, trucks has been my life. Grew up around trucks, with trucks. About uh, 1998, I decided to just maybe do something different. And, I, you know, I used to follow truck racing. I acquired a truck off Ricky Collard, who still races today, an old B-Series ERF. Bog standard, 14 litre Cummins, nothing special, but we, we started putting water cooling brakes on it and we put an intercooler on it, it wasn't intercooled, so it just progressed from there. How many people are there behind the scenes? Of it? Yeah, well we've got probably three, you need three mechanics per truck, so there's six mechanics for the two trucks obviously, and then they had to feed, they had to water, they had to sleep, so you've got, you've got to have the infrastructure for them, you know, to accommodate them in, in the paddock. Um, and then you have, you know, sort of at certain events like this one, you, you get two or three extras. You know, when it hits the fan, it hits the fan in a big way, and you haven't got long to get it back ready, back correct and straight, and to get it back out again. Qualifying number one at the moment. That's right. Yeah. Re ready yeah. for uh, the next race. Yeah, then? over the moment. Yeah, there was, the season started off a bit slow. You know, we had a few teeth and problems with the truck, but we got it back. You know, sort of how we wanted, and uh, onwards and upwards. You've got it all. This is actually based on the Volvo, and when you get inside, it's slightly different. Yeah, it's a little crowded to say the least. You've got everything around you. From the outside, it looks like a standard cab. When you get inside, 
completely and utter difference. Literally, you've just got a steering wheel, you've got a red counter, then at the side you've got the gear lever itself, short gear lever. I must admit, it's comfortable, I think, uh, when you're driving, but certainly it feels a little bit claustrophobic for me. And in case you were wondering, there's no bed in the back either. With cracking results throughout qualifying, Stuart and his Scania-powered teammate Shane Brereton were looking for the all-important podium finish. But, as is always the case in truck racing, the rest of the field were not going to make it a walk in the park. A battle on wheels is the best way to describe the Silverstone action. Incredibly close, sometimes too close, but always exciting at every corner. It looks like Stuart's number one again. Now, some people think that motorsports might be slightly boring, but when it comes to trucks, you must be joking. Now, it's fair to say that racing isn't the first job you think of when it comes to trucks, because, of course, they have that fairly vital role in keeping the UK, Europe, in fact, the globe, moving with a supply of goods and services. Yeah, and that's why the CV show at the NEC in Birmingham is a real must for anyone within the commercial vehicle industry, because it shows us what the manufacturers have got on offer to help the transport industry become more effective and more efficient. The CV show continues to grow in popularity year on year, and the 2015 show was no exception, with global names from across the world of commercial vehicles in attendance, and what is the most comprehensive road transport and logistics event in the country. Now, when you look at the DAF stand, a quick glance thinks, oh, nothing's changed from last year. But then, when you get inside the cab, you find a very interesting button. And the special button is over here. And the button has on it this. And you think, what the heck's all that about? And then you realise you're in a very special vehicle. It's called the Silent CF. And silent, it means silent. We're going from, pressing this button, we're going from 80 decibels down to 72 decibels. It's great for urban environments, that's the idea about it. So what it does is it reduces the power and the torque and allows you to drive through there. And then, once you get through the urban environment, you can then immediately go back, put it back on again, and you're back up to normal driving. So a great place and a neat piece of kit. Now every year at the CV show, the battle of the vans always grabs headlines as all the manufacturers roll out the big guns to show off the latest and greatest vehicles. And Mercedes are no exception with the all new Vito. Now, not only does it look fantastic, but there's some really great industry leading features on there like Euro 6 for the emissions, but also front or rear wheel drive being available across the range. As the Ford stand's concerned, it's not so much the new vans that's making the news, it's actually the fact that it's 50 years since the first Transit rolled off the production line. And to celebrate, we've got this vehicle here in a somewhat different colour. It's to celebrate the golden anniversary. It isn't available as a standard option. I think if you liked it, you'd have to have pretty bad taste. One of the things that Isuzu trucks have got a great reputation for is lightweight chassis. And here they're launching the new 12 tonner, the F120 240, and it's certainly no exception. Now, this particular vehicle is at 12 tonnes GVW. It's got a body and payload potential of around about 8 tonnes. With this Brit tip body, it can actually carry just over 6.25 tonnes payload, which is quite remarkable for a vehicle this size.
Now, we always like to bring you the latest vehicles on Truck World TV, and here at the Aveco stand is the UK reveal of the Vision concept vehicle. Quite a bit of uh, fuss and press interest around it, which is why there's so many people on the stand, but this is being developed as a test bed for future technologies in commercial vehicles, and there's some really clever features on it. Things like the front corner pillars are actually transparent, so you can see through, obviously, much more visibility, a lot safer. There's full wraparound cameras, which will be linked to a screen above the driver. And when it comes to the loading system, the floor is all linked to an iPad or a tablet device, so that as you're loading it up, you can see exactly how much weight you're carrying and where it's positioned in the vehicle, which it's safer and also great for planning your fuel economy. So let's hope it's not too far off before we start to see some of these features out on our roads. And staying on the Aveco stand, here we have the all new Aveco Daily, fresh from winning the coveted award of International Van of the Year 2015. It's available with engine ratings from 106 to 205 brake horsepower, and believe it or not, 8,000 permutations if you take into a case the things like wheelbases, body lengths, etc. etc. But probably one of the most interesting aspects of this daily is the gearbox. And indeed it is very impressive. Now, as a long-suffering Formula One fan, I see eight-speed gearboxes as being the reserve of racing drivers. But now even the humble van driver can have eight speeds at the disposal, as the Iveco Daily Hi-Matic is the first vehicle in its class to offer eight speeds as an option. Obviously, it's going to make driving much more efficient, save fuel, but when you think that the largest spec daily will end up being the biggest panel van on our roads, it needs to be efficient. Well, that's it for our quick look at some of the highlights of the CV Show 2015. But the good news is, you don't have to wait too long to see the 2016 CV Show in the flesh, as doors open on the 26th of April. Well, one of the hottest vehicles out there is the MAN TGX XXL. Did I say that right? I know, yeah, well, you can yes. have a, a few XLs. Because yeah. I make Tim's driving look so bad, I'm not allowed to drive them. I haven't got a license either. But the review of that will be coming up uh, after the break, and also we'll be chatting to the drivers about... Yeah. Uh, you know, money, mate. That's what it's all about in the money end. Money talks. We'll see you soon. Truck World TV, sponsored by Auto Trader Trucks.